Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. How is everyone? Well, I am so sorry. Yesterday I couldn't make a video. I am really sick. Um, I think in my other video I said that my son was homesick. He was homesick for two days. And um, yeah, he got me sick, but I figured that was going to happen eventually. So please excuse me if... Um, I sneeze <laughs> on the air today because that's what's going on. But I had a little more energy today to make a video. Yesterday I was totally out of it. And I was just like, no, you gotta rest. So that's what I did. I listened to myself. So, this is the two paintings that I did the other day. Um, this was The Pouring Masters, which is this guy versus um, the Artist Loft. I almost forgot what the heck I was doing. Now, the Artist Loft, first of all, let's see how they dried. Okay, so, um, first of all, like as usual, this came out totally smooth and glossy. Okay, I, I knew that's how it was gonna dry. That's how it dried. Um, the colors did get a little muddy, muddy over here. Um, it was probably because of the type of pour I did, but I still really like it. I always like the artist loft. It dries really nice. Now, the Pouring Masters, it did dry with some cracks here um, and over here. All right, so that's the downfall. Uh, the downfall. The down. <laughs> the downfall. The downfall of Pouring Masters. Yeah, okay, no. I still love the Pouring Masters paint. I probably just had a little too much paint on there. If I would have ran off some more, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Um, but it did not dry um, darker. It actually retained the color. But I noticed something really, really cool. So it's still hard for me to choose a winner because ah, this dried perfectly but the colors got muddied, right? And then this one, you know, it's like a much, to me, a much more interesting and like dynamic painting. And the colors retained, you know, like it did not dry dark or anything, except it didn't have cracks. So, uh, I don't know. Like, there's good aspects to both. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to choose a winner. Um, ah, this is hard. I mean, the fact that this dried perfectly, you know, um, it's so well, like if the colors got a little muddy, they're still like pretty colors. I don't know, like in some ways, I think Artist Loft won only because of the, the way it dried. Um, I did, you know, like I said, that Pouring Masters does have bubbles. Um, so it is a little more temperamental paint to work with, even though I do like it, though. So, I mean, in all reality, I think, honestly, maybe this is the winner only because it's such, it's very easy to work with. I have to say Artist Love is very easy to work with. If you add a little water, if you add another pouring medium to it, it really doesn't react badly. So this is a much easier paint to work with, I'll be honest, even though I don't like it as much as this one. Because like I told you 10,000 times, I don't mind texture, and it's not like horrible texture. It's actually kind of cool. I don't know. I, I think in almost like this is like a tie because there are good aspects to each paint. So I don't know. I'm going to think about that some more, and I'll come back to it. But anyway... Something really cool happened though. Now you saw in the video, and I'll make it here, I did these two separately. I didn't do them side by side. I did the same type of um, pour, but um, that uh, plastic bottle there, it was like a tower slash open cup. But something really cool happened. I have, let me adjust myself. This actually happened, it was kind of weird. Like look at this shape, it kind of follows. It's almost like it's one painting. It's kind of weird. It's almost like a diptych, but I didn't mean it to be. If you look at it from that way, it actually looks like I 
like drag the paint across here they actually match it's kind of weird like one huge shape so that's kind of cool so I would probably put those two together as a pair yeah that's what I liked about it anyway so that's that about these two all right they've been sitting there drying they're done and I thought they were that was pretty cool to just kind of show you guys how it just kind of just lined up all these lines kind of lined up like this so that was kind of awesome anyway so that's that I'm back here I have so many cups again full of extra uh, leftover paint so I will probably be doing a painting soon using that up before it gets dried up and also those cups um, Artsy Fartsy Lovers, uh, Stacey Nicole had asked me about these cups. She thought these were really cool. And you can reuse them. Um, once I dump all that paint out, not dump it out, I mean use it. I don't know the painting. Um, I can reuse these cups. The lids are very good. Like they really snap on really well. So girl, I'm going to try and send you some. Um, I got them from a, literally up the block from my house, from a store up the block from my house. Okay. So, let's get into what we're doing today. We're going to do... Let me set this guy up real quick. Let's see if that's okay. All right. All right. Now, you see this guy over here, right? Now, this painting and this dude here, James Charles, I'm doing a makeup-inspired pour again today. Now, this is not about the person... This is not about, this is not a drama channel. I am not a makeup review channel. None of that. Okay. So, um, let me set up a little better with my camera. I will be right back and we're going to talk about this. Okay. But one, dis nice disclaimer, but whatever. I'm not talking about him. I'm not talking about his drama. If you don't know who, who he is, he's a makeup artist. He does collabs um, with different companies. This is a collab with Morphe. This is the James Charles, like, artistry palette in the mini form. We're not talking about him. You know, I just like the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson palette. Oh, it's not about the person. It's not even about, like, the makeup, even though this is a really great palette. This is about the painting that I'm making and how this palette inspired me to make a painting using the colors in it, okay? So I ain't talking about James. You know, he's a young kid, whatever. If you don't know who he is, you can go check him out on his own channel. You know, so let me, um, I'll be back in two seconds because I just want to straighten out this camera a little bit better so I could talk to you about what I'm doing today. Okay, be right back. Hey guys, I am back. So I'm going to quickly take this out of the box and I'm going to show you the colors that we are going to be using today uh, out of this palette to, um, you know, that inspired me a bit, okay? So, yeah, there was a lot of drama with this, but I'm not even getting into it because I don't know if a lot of you got, I'm, like I said, I'm not a drama channel. Um, anyway, so we're just talking about the colors of this palette that inspired me to make, want to make this painting. And I'm going to be using something different as well to um, pour out of. I'm going to try something new as well. So, I don't know, they're the names of all the colors here, but, man, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see the names, so it's okay. Alright, so, we have this color here, excuse my little, I had to take this nail off because I had to wrap gifts yesterday, and I couldn't get the tape off because of the stupid nail. Anyway, so, we are doing this beautiful hot pink here. Okay, I'm gonna swatch that. I like swatching. Don't come for me. Like I said, I'm not a makeup channel, but I like to swatch. Okay, we have this beautiful violet here. And I'm gonna show you the colors that, um, okay. Yes, they're messy swatches. Too bad. Can't do anything about it. Oh, this color here. This is like this perfect cobalt blue. Okay. 
I get a little more on there. All right, got that guy. What other? Oh yeah, I kind of combined these two together. Let's see if I got a. I really went for this beautiful red, and when I swatched it, it was like a more of an orangey red. Um. And then, like, I did, like, a double, and it was actually a really true red. So it's kind of a combination of these two. But this is, like, an orangey red to me. It's orangey undertones. And what other colors did I do? Oh, yes. And this really good black. Let me just... All right. I'm going to do it down here. Okay. All right. So those are the colors that we're doing today. All right, I love this. It, this is like a rainbow palette. This is a rainbow palette. Um, it's really good, and I love the colors in it. And, and this inspired me, like the title of the video, you know, makeup inspired a painting. And so let's close this guy up for a minute. All right, and I'm going to be using this nine by twelve uh, canvas board. Uh, here we go. Um, these are really, really good. They are very sturdy. I made that painting, that kind of weird, kind of black hole painting back there. Um, it did not warp at all. This is by, what is it called, Transin or something like that? Yeah, Transin. Um, I actually recommend these because they really didn't warp, it did not warp at all. Um, when I put painting, when I put paint on it, it did not warp. All right. So this video is getting way too long. <laughs> what else is new? All right, so we have the uh, neon pink flow acrylic in this bottle here, and there is flow troll in here. Okay, so that's and don't worry, I'm gonna link, um, not link. I'm gonna put all my um, materials in the description like I always do. Okay. And then for the black, let's see, get this camera a little better today. We have the serum coat, okay, in here with flow troll as well. I'm actually gonna coat the um, cam the canvas board first with that. All right. Next, to get this really cool red color, I have a few things in there, okay. Even though it's not like a um, a shimmery color like in the palette um, I just wanted to add like a little shimmer to it so in here we have artist loft and don't come for me cochineal whatever cochineal red I can't pronounce it and I'm sick so I'm gonna link that I'm gonna spell it out in the below by Arteza I also mixed artist loft orange in there to give it that like reddish orangey color this is also this itself it is an orangey red but I kind of added more orange to it as well and we have some artist love iridescent medium to give it that shimmer and in these three colors here I did use the tri art liquid glass medium Okay, as usual, there's a lot of different products. I, like I said, I'm going to link it below. All right, that's in there. Now, the beautiful blue color right here, I just put in the cobalt blue because I thought that it just matched it perfectly. Okay, that's by Arteza. Okay, and here with the liquid glass. All right, now that dark, beautiful violet, is right there okay um it was really really dark like almost looked black in the cup and because i am going to coat i made a decision uh because this black is really good like if you know anything about makeup it's hard to make a good black um i wanted the paint to show up and the violet was way too dark almost black okay this is again by arteza so what I did was, um, I just added a little uh, Deco Art Gloss Enamel in Lavender to kind of lighten up the violet, okay? So that's what this color is. It's still a beautiful, dark, deep purple, 
but I wanted it to show up in the painting. All right, and then last but not least, I found two things in the one of my local discount stores actually where I got those plastic cups I found this guy I guess this is a spoon rest I'm assuming and I thought this would be cool to pour the paint down onto the canvas board kind of like a waterfall pour except I'm not going to be tipping the canvas and um, pouring the paint like down the canvas like I did the other times I'll link my videos here with my waterfall pours. Um, I'm going to be just running the paint down this really cool uh, spoon rest onto the canvas board, okay? And we'll see what happens with that. We don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm always trying to find cool. I saw this. I was like, oh, that could be interesting. I mean, who knows? But I'm going to try it. So that is it. I have talked way long enough. And let's get to this pour, okay? See you in a sec.
Hey guys, I am back. Wow, I really like using that um, spoon rest. That was a lot of fun, and oh my god, I love this. I love this. So I really appreciate, I'm going to be honest with you, I know that the palette and James Charles' intention was to um, motivate people's creativity, um, that was the idea behind that palette and so not only did it like help me with my creativity my makeup I'll be honest with you. I love the fact that his palette um, Helped me with my painting like it doesn't really make a difference how you use it, you know, so he really it did inspire me and It inspired me to use these beautiful colors to try to recreate some of the colors he made. I think this came out really cool, like really weird. Um, I love that. That is like awesome. I love leaving a little negative space with that black. I don't know if you could see it, but I could see it. The whole painting is shimmery. I didn't use, I only used that um, Artist Love Iridescent uh, medium in one color. But it kind of spread out throughout the whole painting. I mean, look at that. That is like some neon beautifulness going on in there. I really enjoyed doing this. I am not going to talk too long because this video is already too long as it is. But I really enjoyed doing this. And I think I may just do one more video on this palette because there is literally 39 colors in there. Um, and not only these colors inspired me. There are some beautiful yellows and greens and there's a lot in there, but I'm only just going to do really one more video on this palette because there's 39 colors. I'm not doing every color. I'm just going to do maybe five or six. I'm going to pick like five or six more colors like this one that really pop out to me. Um, so yeah, so this is this painting and I guess I'm going to call this a waterfall painting, um, a pour, uh, just in a different way. All right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you were inspired today to do something creative. It doesn't have to be painting. It could be cooking or writing or dancing or anything you guys like to do. Go out and do it. That is my little tip of uh, inspiration for you today. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.